A North Carolina state trooper is being called a hero this morning, and understandably, he rescued a mother and her four children from their burning vehicle. Last Thursday, Jessica White DePriest and her two-and-a-half-year-old son and 18-month-old triplets were driving to Georgia when their van started to act up. Thinking quickly, she pulls over to the side of the road, and that's when trooper Alan Humphrey pulled up. Noticing smoke, he helped scramble to get the kids out. Seconds later, that van burst into flames, all of them escaping in the nick of time. So good to have all of you with us this morning. Jessica and her kids, along with Trooper Humphrey, are joining us exclusively this morning. Jessica, I can't even imagine what's going through your mind. We should point out, you're, this is this is tough for anybody to have four young kids, 18-month-old triplets, a two-and-a-half-year-old son. Uh, your husband is fighting in Iraq right now. So you're driving home, and all of a sudden, what's happening? What did you notice in your car? My van wouldn't go over 20 miles an hour. And you're on the highway, right? And I'm on 95, so I knew that I couldn't make it to Georgia. So um, I turned the van back around to go back to my mom's house to North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And I believe it was Lumberton. Um, I pulled over in Lumberton. And I was on the phone with my mom telling my mom to come and get me because my van wasn't working. And all of a sudden, my van was just smoking. Which is so, I, I can't even imagine how scary that must have been for you, especially knowing you've got these four kids in that van with you. When you saw uh, Trooper Humphrey pull up, were you thinking, thank goodness, this is going to be all right? No, I was thinking more of thank God I'll be safe because of so many people on the highway, mm -hmm. you know, that are dangerous people. In terms of drivers, you mean, or? As far as, you know, people that would um, hurt you. Yeah. So, so he pulls up and, and immediately when you pull up, what's the first thing that you noticed about that van? Uh, well, I just noticed she was on the shoulder of the road and on the telephone. She looked pretty much distraught, so I decided to pull up and check on her. Uh, she said her van was running a little hot and uh, asked her if she had any passengers and she said she had these four small children with her. And, and, she, and you initially said, you know what though, am I right? My mom's on her way. You didn't leave though, why not? Uh, well, just the fact that uh, it's, you know, she's a, a female with four small children, uh, they're stranded. Uh, she said it'd be about an hour and I just didn't feel comfortable. Uh, it just was the right thing to do to stay there with her until some, somebody could arrive to you know, provide her some, some more assistance. And thankfully you were there because not long, or, not long after you arrived, talk to us about, about what happened and how you ultimately helped save this family. Uh, well, after uh, five or six minutes later, just uh, sitting in my patrol vehicle, observing her vehicle, I just started to notice heat waves coming from the hood of the vehicle. So uh, I ran up to the front of the van and I noticed flames coming from the engine compartment. So uh, at that time I, I told her to immediately just start trying to get the children out of the van. And, and uh, as we were trying to get the children out of the van, thankfully a passing motor stopped with a fire extinguisher trying to, trying to put the flames out so that uh, we could continue to do so. And, uh, and you say it was, probably wasn't even a minute in the time that you got those kids out before uh, that van went really, up the Really? Yeah, it took off really fast. It is, it is such a scary story to think about, to see these pictures. As we mentioned, your husband is fighting in Iraq, Army Specialist Patrick DePriest. I think we may have him on the phone this morning. Sir, are you with us? Specialist DePriest, can you hear us here in the studio in New York? It's a little bit of a tough connection because obviously we're calling Iraq. I know you've had a chance uh, to speak with your husband. I imagine that must have been a pretty emotional phone call for you, Jessica. Yes. What did, he what did didn't he realize how bad the fire was. He thought it was just a regular car fire. Which it was obviously a, a lot more than that. The explosion was about the size of a big room. Oh my goodness. Because they, after we got the children out, they, um, Officer Humphrey put me and the children in the back of his police car and the guy that pulled over with the white truck and um, Officer Humphrey, they started pulling all of our belongings out of the van. Car seats, quad strollers, I had packed every single clothes that the babies owned because they didn't have many clothes mm -hmm. and I was staying at my mom's house for a month so um, I packed all of their clothes and they threw them everything out and um, when the gas tank exploded it took everything, everything. with it. It's just amazing and the, the good news in all this of course is that you are here with us, that your four kids are here safe and sound and we're glad that you were able to speak with your husband in Iraq as well. Thank you all for being here. Thank you especially sir for everything you did.